then you gotta wash your hands. You have no control over that either. You go to the sink, it has to see your hands first underneath. And then you, it decides how much water you need also. It gives you a certain portion. You don't know how much you're gonna get, so you're like a little raccoon under there, just. and then it decides that's enough water, and it's not, so you have to pull out and go pretend like your new hand's going back in again. <laughs> and the dryer, you put your hands under there quickly like that, and all this is to avoid germs. Then you walk over to that disease-ridden door handle and open it up. <laughs> back to that bowl of mixed nuts you're sharing at the bar. <laughs> and then you're all paranoid because your friends are waiting at the bar you've been in the bathroom for a half an hour and you feel weird you know it's amazing how much time that we put thought into thinking about what other people are thinking about us you know when everybody else is just thinking about what we're thinking about them you know we are so comfortable with that uncomfortable feeling that we just we just get so used to it anything you know if somebody's talking to you and a tiny bit of moisture comes out and lands on your <laughs> cheek. You know it's there. They certainly know it's there. And nobody acknowledges it. You just keep talking directly into each other's eyes, acting like that didn't just happen. <laughs> Waiting for them to glance away just for a second so you can do that. Is that, would that insult them if they saw us wipe that away? That you don't want that there? <laughs> Why would you wipe my spittle away? <laughs> We're just anything makes us uncomfortable. Have you ever waved to somebody? You're sure it's them. <laughs> oh, there's Nancy. Oh, it's not Nancy. <laughs> Weird stuff happening inside. It's really bad when you go out of your way to get their attention, isn't it? Oh, look, there's Nancy. Nancy! 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 Darling! Oh, Nancy! I thought you were someone else. You just look like Nancy. Let's go, let's go. They look like Nancy. <laughs> or if somebody's waving to you, and you know you don't know them, but you wave back anyway. If you're walking down the street, good day for you too. Good self-esteem day. You're happy with your outfit, happy with your hair, feeling really good about yourself. It just takes that one tiny trip to just <laughs> suck the coolness right out of you. Can't let that happen. As soon as that happens, we have to look back right away. Pebble. Careful for the pebble I just tripped and it's right there. Someone should put some orange cones. There's a pebble up ahead. <laughs> or we go into denial. We go into that, oh, it's just going to start running anyway. I didn't trip. It's just going to run. Yeah. I'm running and I'm done. That's all I needed. <sighs> Stopped to tie my shoe a block ago and I'm back on schedule with that little jog. Like we're fooling people across the way. Oh, she tripped? No, she's running. 
I thought she'd trip, but she's running. <laughs> she stopped. She did trip. You tripped! <laughs> she tripped. You ever walk into a plate glass window? <laughs> Two things are happening there. Pain and embarrassment. But pain takes a back seat to embarrassment, doesn't it? No matter how much pain you're in, if people are laughing, you just laugh along with them. Just, oh! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I just slammed right into that thing, didn't I? Isn't that funny? It's so clean and shiny. <laughs> Someone should put a sticker or a happy face or something. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh my, is that blood? <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm bleeding. Oh my, can you help me find my eye? <laughs> I lost my eye. <laughs> I cannot find my eye. It could be as big as that, it could be as small as you're with somebody and they're singing a song that you love and they sing lyrics you've never sung before. <laughs> Suddenly you realize you've been singing the wrong words all along. You're like, does he have it? That's what they're singing right there, does he have it? You're thinking to yourself, why have I been singing monkey hatchet? <laughs> How many people have heard me sing monkey hatchet? Have songs you don't know the words to, you know? Some songs you don't even bother trying to learn the words because you assume nobody knows them. You know, that, that Aretha Franklin song, Respect, that's been around a long time and we always get to that part, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, duck God D-C-T, ho! <laughs> suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me. I don't know. Certain songs, it's weird that songs are hits and then songs aren't hits. Like that, Respect, that's a song that you, of course, you'd hear that and go, that's going to be a, a smash hit because it's about respect and who doesn't want to sing along to that? But certain songs, you know, that uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary song, If I Had a Hammer, <laughs> that was a huge hit. I don't know why. I think that song was written for people who don't have hammers. Because before I had a hammer, I probably thought to myself, if I had a hammer, I would hammer in the morning. <laughs> I'd hammer in the evening. I'd hammer all over this land if I had a hammer. Once you get a hammer, you find you don't hammer as much as you think you would. I love music. Music is so important, I think. It's so powerful. You know, you can be in one mood, one, one state of mind, you hear a song and it transports you. It changes your emotion just by hearing a song. And even with our ADD and our memory loss, <laughs> you can hear a song that you loved in the fifth grade and remember every single word to it. That's how powerful music is. And certain songs, people respond differently to different music and because usually it tells a story that we relate to. And for me, mine is salt and pepper Shoop. What a beautiful tale. Well, here I go, here I go, here I go again, girls, what's my weakness? Men, okay then, chillin', chillin', mindin' my business, yo salt, I looked around and I couldn't believe this, I swear I stand, my niece, my witness, the brother had it going on with some kind of Mm, wicked, wicked, had to kick it. I'm not shy, so I ask for the digits. A uh, ho, oh, no, that don't make me see what I want, slip, slide to it swiftly. Felt it in my hips, so I dipped back to my bag of tricks. Then a flip for the tip made me want to do tricks on him, lick him like a lollipop should be licked. Came to my senses, then I chilled for a bit. Don't know how you do the voodoo that you do so well. It's a spell. Hell, make me want to shoop, shoop, shoop. So for me, that song...
That song tells my story, but everyone has a different one. I know the lyrics to that song, I know all the words because it's an older song, kind of, and it was on the radio all the time, and I used to drive along and I used to sing to it. And you didn't hear about road rage back then. People would drive and sing all the time. And that's happening less and less now. Now people are multitasking when they're driving, you know? They're driving and talking on the phone and putting on makeup and shaving, which makes me so nervous when I see that leg up on the dash. <laughs> We're doing all these things to squeeze things together so we can save time. And I don't know about you, but I don't have any more time. I have less time. But let's just say we could save up a whole chunk of time and set it aside. You know what we do with it? Nothing. Nothing at all. Isn't that the point to be able to do nothing at all? But we're not guaranteed that later on chunk of time. All we have is here and now. And that's why procrastination feels so right. <laughs> Procrastination is not the problem. It is the solution. <laughs> it is the universe's way of saying, stop, slow down, you move too fast. <laughs> listen to the music. Whoa, whoa, listen to the music. <laughs> because music makes the people come together. It makes the bourgeois and the rebels. So, <laughs> come on, people now. Smile on your brother and everybody try to love one another. Because what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And I know that love is a battlefield, but boogie on, reggae woman, because you're going to make it after all. So celebrate good times. Come on. I've got to stop. I've got to come to my senses. I've been out riding fences for so long. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. Um, What I'm trying to say is, if you leave here tonight and you don't remember anything else that I said, leave here and remember this. Procrastinate now. Don't put it off. Hell, make me wanna shoot, shoot, shoot. That's all I know. Hey. 